Elon Musk almost never says the word amazing unless something breaks a rule that most car companies have treated like it is unchangeable. That is why his reaction to the 2026 Tesla Model 2 Senior Edition interior matters so much. Because this is not a simple refresh where they move a screen, change a seat color, and call it a day. This feels like Tesla quietly admitting something the industry has ignored for decades, that the average driver is getting older, the human body changes, and most cabins are not designed for the real limits that come with age. And if you have ever sat in your car and noticed it, the stiff shoulder when you reach for a button, the neck strain when you lean forward to read a tiny label at night, the awkward twist getting in and out, the little frustration that builds every time you have to hunt through menus just to adjust something basic, then you already understand the stakes. Because when you are younger, bad ergonomics are annoying. When you are older, bad ergonomics become pain, and pain becomes hesitation, and hesitation becomes risk. Tesla appears to be designing around that chain for the first time in a budget-friendly EV. So here is what we are going to do today. We are going to look at the engineering choices inside the Model 2 Senior Edition cabin that are aimed directly at joint strain, eyesight limits, reaction time changes, and that quiet reality no one likes to say out loud, that comfort is not a luxury for seniors, it is part of safety. And the wild part is that Tesla is trying to do this while keeping the cost low enough that normal families, retirees, and veterans can actually afford it. Stay with me because what you are about to hear is not nice features. This is a shift in how a cabin is structured, how control systems are placed, how safety is measured, and how the vehicle supports a driver who wants to stay independent without feeling like the car is fighting them every time they drive. And if you are new here, subscribe to Torque Element and help us reach our 3,000 subscriber goal. We keep it simple, we keep it honest, and we break down the details in plain English. Now picture the moment Tesla's interior team finishes sealing a prototype cabin. The doors close, the outside noise drops, you can almost feel that quiet, like stepping into a well-built room. You would think they start by talking about seat softness or screen size. But the thing that reportedly grabbed their attention first was not a material choice. It was a measurement, a number that looks small on paper but feels huge in real life when you are the one behind the wheel. 19.8 inches. That is the expanded usable reach zone Tesla achieved inside the cabin, and it is not a random number. It comes from a layout approach Tesla has been working on that sounds boring until you realize what it really means for the body. They call it a compact spatial grid framework. The goal is straightforward. Make the space around the driver work like a tool belt instead of a scavenger hunt. Put what you need where your hands naturally want to go, without forcing you to twist your torso, lift your shoulder too high, or stretch forward like you are trying to grab something off a high shelf. The way they did it is the part that should make other automakers nervous. Tesla shifted wiring channels outward by several inches, which sounds minor until you understand what wiring usually does inside a dash. Wiring takes up space. Wiring forces braces, supports, and weird shapes that steal knee room and steel reach room. Tesla pushed those channels out, cleared the center space, and then removed multiple legacy support beams from the dash area entirely. But they did not do it by weakening the structure. They replaced that old beam layout with a dual layer cross member that carries strength differently. So it holds the cabin rigid without taking away the space a driver actually uses. Here is why seniors will feel that instantly. When you reduce the amount of rotation needed to reach controls, you reduce the strain that builds up over weeks and months of driving. Tesla's modeling suggests a meaningful reduction in upper body rotation just to operate basic functions. If you have never dealt with limited shoulder mobility, that sounds like a small detail. But if you are 68 with arthritis creeping into your shoulder, that difference can feel like the car finally stopped asking your body to do something it does not want to do anymore. And Tesla did not stop at comfort. They also shaped this redesign around what happens when something goes wrong. Sudden braking, 
unexpected deceleration, the kind of moment that makes you grip the wheel harder and tense your whole body without thinking. Tesla's interior beam strategy is built around distributing impact forces in a way that does not intrude into the cabin space. Instead of pushing strength inward where it steals room, they spread load laterally. It is the same idea aerospace engineers use when they want strength without bulky intrusion. The result is a cabin that feels more open and more usable, while also being designed to reduce the chance that interior structures become hazards during a hard stop. Now let's make this personal, because this is where the senior story becomes real. Every year, it gets a little harder to twist and reach inside your car. You feel it when you try to adjust the climate, when you reach for a phone, when you try to tap a small icon on a screen while the road is bouncing, when you glance down and realize you are hunting instead of driving. Tesla seems to be taking that reality seriously. The senior edition interior is designed like someone finally sat down and asked, what does the human body over 60 actually need? If this expanded space would matter to you or someone in your family, I want you to comment, 19.8, so I know you are seeing the same value engineers are excited about. Now here is where the cabin story becomes even more surprising, because the next big leak is not about luxury at all. It is about something Tesla is installing as the nervous system of the interior, a sensor backbone, a single, consolidated interior spine designed to replace the old mess of scattered modules that many automakers still use. The number being discussed is 34. A 34-point interior sensor spine, a compact sensor rail that runs behind the dash and under both front seats. And if you are thinking, wait, why add more hardware when the goal is to keep the price low? That is exactly the right question. The answer is classic Tesla. They are not adding complexity the old way. They are consolidating complexity so the system becomes simpler overall. Traditional automakers often scatter control units throughout the car. One module here, one module there, each with its own wiring, its own connectors, and its own failure points. Tesla appears to be shifting toward one intelligent backbone that does more with less. That kind of consolidation can reduce wiring mass, reduce assembly steps, and improve diagnostics, because the car can see its own condition through a unified system rather than a bunch of disconnected ones. And for seniors, that matters because the features Tesla is building on top of this spine are not party tricks. They are aimed at the moments where older drivers are most at risk, not because seniors are careless, but because the body changes. Reaction time can slow. Grip strength can drop. Fatigue can creep in quietly without you noticing until it is too late. This interior spine is expected to track subtle inputs that can signal fatigue before it becomes dangerous. Micro vibrations in steering correction. Gentle lane drift tendencies. Posture alignment changes. Even skin temperature signals that can hint at strain or fatigue depending on conditions. The point is not to scare you. The point is to catch the early signs before the driver becomes a headline. Think about driving at night through Miami or Lowe's Angels. The road is busy, your eyes are tired, and you are doing that thing we all do, telling ourselves we are fun, especially for drivers with knee stiffness. Another change is in the steering column movement. Early measurements suggest the column retracts farther than previous models, creating more clearance for broader torsos, heavier coats, and body proportions common among older Americans. That means you are not squeezing. You are not scraping your knees. You are rotating your hips naturally instead of fighting a tight space. Then there is door hinge damping. Tesla appears to be tuning the door so it requires less force to open. If you have arthritis or reduced grip strength, this is not a nice touch. This is the difference between the car cooperating with you and the car feeling like a stubborn object you have to wrestle. And the rumored detail that sounds like science fiction until you remember Tesla already uses advanced sensing and seat systems is a gentle rise assist. 
a cushion that slightly inflates when the car detects you preparing to stand. Not a dramatic lift, a subtle one, enough to shift pressure and reduce strain on hips and lower back. When you live with chronic pain, even small relief, repeated every day, becomes life-changing. This is why I keep saying this is not just comfort. It is independence. It is the ability to stay mobile without dread. It is the ability to keep driving without your car becoming another source of pain. Because here is the truth no one wants to say. A lot of older adults do not stop driving because they want to. They stop because the vehicle becomes physically exhausting. They stop because getting in and out hurts. They stop because the interface feels stressful. They stop because they do not trust their reaction time and they do not have support systems in the car to help them. Tesla is aiming directly at that reality. And what makes this so disruptive is the price bracket they are aiming for. If Tesla can build a senior-friendly cabin in an affordable EV, it sets a new expectation. It tells the entire industry that you do not need a luxury badge to respect older drivers. You just need to design like you actually care. And that leads to the bigger picture. If Tesla is already engineering comfort geometry, usability, and preventive safety into a budget-friendly vehicle, imagine what their future ecosystem could look like. Vehicles, home devices, mobility tools, all designed around real human mechanics instead of showroom flash. This is the kind of design shift that tells real families and real seniors that their needs matter. Now let me pull you back to the emotional center of all this. If you are watching this as someone over 55, this is not about getting a cool new Tesla. It is about not being forced into paying for expensive vehicles that ignore your body. It is about not being pushed into giving up independence because car companies keep building cabins for younger drivers with perfect vision and perfect joints. It is about a company finally admitting that aging is normal and designing around it, instead of pretending it does not exist. So here is my question for you. Do you think Tesla is finally building a cabin that respects senior drivers, or do you think this is still more talk than reality until it hits the road? Tell me what you believe, because your comments guide what we investigate next. And if today's breakdown opened your eyes, share it with a friend or a family member who would care about this. And before you go, remember to like the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to Torque Element. We are pushing for our 3,000 subscriber goal, and every subscribe helps us keep making clear, grounded breakdowns that cut through the noise.